Welcome guys. So I ran into another one of these AI based R generators and this one is phenomenal. It's called Deep Dream Generator and it creates fantastic looking artsy images. So look at this one. It combines these two images to create like this output image. How wonderful is that? Just amazing. So we'll quickly walk through how you create one of these uh, images. Well, before you use a tool, obviously make sure you read and understand the terms and conditions. So let's go. We are going to click on the generate button. Now you can create images in multiple styles, deep style, thin style, and deep dream. Let's try deep dream first. I suspect that the Deep Dream style is based on Google's Deep Dream AI model. Let's select this puffin as our base image. So this site has a complicated pricing structure, really. So we'll leave our settings to be the default settings, which ensures that we have minimum energy charge, which is minus two, if you see over here. And let's click on Generate. This does take a little while, but eventually it's going to run through its cycles and come back to us with an image. There you go. So you notice that this image is pretty trippy and you see these, you know, eyes and um, faces, like, like dog-like faces over here. Um, and that's because the the deep dream model was trained on um, ImageNet, which has uh, proportionally a lot more uh, images of dogs and birds of sorts. So that's why we get this effect. So the deep dream style does not require a reference image. It, it just takes your input image and applies the deep dream style to it. Let's look at the style transfer uh, options that Deep Dream Generator provides. So let's click on Generate. Let's choose our base image. Again, we'll choose the Puffin. And now we will go through the different style images already available within this tool for our style transfer. Let's click on this one. It looks nice and colorful. So let's leave all the settings to their default level, except let's change preserve color to on. What this will do is it'll preserve the colors from our original image. Let's click on generate. The AI will now run to apply our chosen style to our base image. And soon enough, we are going to get our results. Ta-da! Wow, this is pretty cool. Very, very artsy. I am curious as to what the AI will do if we ask it to not preserve colors. So let's try to do that with our puffin, just for comparison, right? So let's select the puffin and let's select the same art and style and let's leave all the options default and also not enable preserve colors. So it shouldn't preserve uh, the colors of the original image. Now let's click on generate and it's going to do its thing and it might take a little bit of a while but it's going to come back soon enough and ta-da! So yeah a slightly different result than what we had previously where we asked the AI to preserve the color. So what we see is it has transferred the colors from our style image into our main base image that we were using. And let's compare the three images that we have generated. The leftmost is where we preserved the color. The middle one is where we did not preserve the color. And the rightmost is the deep frame uh, style. Now what we can also do is we can download the images that we have generated. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Deep Dream Generator. I hope you enjoyed this video and also that you learned something. And if you did, please like this video and also 
please subscribe so that I'm inspired to make more videos like this for you. Thanks a lot. Bye.